In this video, we will demonstrate the use of hosting capacity analysis in the MV distribution network. This analysis is used to determine the maximum additional load, or DER, that is, distributed energy resource that can be connected at a node without violating system constraints and without the need for network developments. The hosting capacity analysis function in PowerFactory provides fast automated evaluation combining load flow, protection and harmonic analysis in a single workflow, providing a systematic and efficient approach for the analysis of DER and consumer integration. The hosting capacity study case should be activated. The command is found in the Distribution Network Analysis Toolbox. Let's look at the options available. The hosting sites are selected here with options to select terminals, substations or grouping objects such as feeders or grids. For now, we've selected just one feeder. The selected calculation objective is DER, so we're looking at how much additional generation as opposed to additional consumer load can be connected. We're analysing a balanced network and we'll use the standard load flow. The low voltage load flow option can be used for a stochastic approach that takes into account coincidence definitions. The choice of constraints determines which calculations will be carried out in the analysis. With these options, protection and harmonic analysis will not be needed, just the load flow. On the constraints page, the thermal limits are configured. And the voltage limits for terminals. We have not set any voltage limits for feeders. On the configuration page, we've selected the simple default configuration for potential DERs, but it's possible for users to define their own templates. We'll now execute the command. The schematic diagram has now been coloured according to the results. And the colouring can be enhanced by executing the heat map command. The orange colouring towards the end of the feeder indicates the lower capacity. We can also see this on the geographic diagram. Again, we can see how the hosting capacity drops along the length of the feeder. This icon gives access to tabular reports to view the results of the calculation. The reports show the maximum hosting capacity at each node, limiting factors, thermal, voltage limits, etc., and the limiting components such as lines or nodes. We'll change the colouring threshold for loading to 99%. Let's sort on this column to see the node that has the greatest capacity. The limiting factor for this node is the loading on this line at the start of the feeder. Sorting in the opposite direction, we can see that this node has the least capacity. In this case, it's the maximum voltage limit at the connection point itself that's the limiting factor. Here, we've analysed just one feeder. But multiple feeders, or indeed the whole network, can be analysed. and parallel computation is available to improve calculation times.
The graphical representation provides a good overview of the capacities of the various parts of the network.